All right, how's it going, guys? Gonna be going over a quick little video today on how to apply Staterade to your hub motor. Now I'll be starting the process after having gotten the faceplate off, so if you need to find that information, let me know, I'll post another video, or there are plenty of other good videos on YouTube to discover that. Very simple stuff. All I needed, a little dead blow hammer, and uh, two flathead screwdrivers. That was it. Just uh, give the axle a good tap to break that seal between the face plate and the hub itself. And then just get your little flathead in there, shimmy it around, shimmy it around, break that seal. And mine, unfortunately, I didn't need a gear puller. Just pulled clean off, no problem. So, getting down to applying the stator aid here. 10 milliliter syringe I got from Grin Technologies up in Canada. Post the link in the description to these guys. Now, just got this small 10 mil syringe here. Pop that cap off and get our little uh, our precision applicator tip on here. And I don't know if you could see very well. Let me zoom in. There's a small, small air gap in here. See that? That's where you want to apply it. Right there, right there, right there, so on and so forth. Following around the entire circumference of the air gap. So, let's get down to it. Okay, here we go. This is my first try at this, so let's hope it goes right. Zoom in here, maybe you guys will be able to see it doing its thing as it spreads. See that wicking around through there? That's all you want to do. And take that around the entire circumference of the wheel. Pull this out a little bit so you guys can see the whole thing. All right. Right, there we go. All right. Now, let's mark off where we started at. Right here. And go around. Now I'm only applying very small amounts. Now, as per the directions, I will be applying only five milliliters to this wheel. Where are we at there? I don't know how well you can see that. Come on, focus, you fuck. Coming up on six milliliters. Well, coming up on four milliliters in the wheel. Now, I'm sure that you could always just drill one hole in the side cover and squirt it all in right there, but I felt better going around and doing it piece by piece. That's just how I am. All right, there we have it. 
right at about five milliliters. So we'll cap it off right there. Now, let's see if I can get us in close enough here. Yeah, it's hard, it won't focus on it. But you can see that layer in the air gap there. And that should give us some better cooling ability. Okay, now on to sealing up your face plate when you put this stuff, when you put this stator aid in, if you don't have everything sealed up well, it will wick out of the smallest opening. Thankfully, these motors actually have a oil seal in them, which was kind of surprising to see. All right, so I'm just gonna use, this is what I have on hand, Moto Seal Gasket Maker. It's uh, it's good stuff, solvent-based. Uh, seals, not seals, cures up in about 20 minutes. It's good to about 500 degrees. Fuel resistant, not that that matters in this case, but should do the trick. So we'll just apply a small bead of this in the grooves. Work our way around with that. Okay. Okay. Now we just take our side cover face plate with our gasket maker bead on there. Slide that back on. Make sure your holes are all lined up. And press her on. Give it a little tap with the hammer here. All right. Now you just reinstall your hardware torque it down not very hard and uh, you're good to all go. right and there's the finished product just wait for that to all cure up and then I'll clean up those little bits that squirted out